Kramer's rule is another system of solving simultaneous linear equation by the use of matrices. So what Kramer's rule says, you should first of all form a matrix of the coefficient of our unknown variables. And the coefficient we have is two here for x, one for y, and the second equation, three for x, and negative two for y. Find the determinant of this matrix. Two, three, one, and negative two. To find the determinant of this matrix, we say two times negative two, minus three times one. This is negative uh, four minus three, and this is equal to negative seven. This is our determinant. The third step says we should find the determinant with respect to x. In this case, we are going to substitute our x column with our constant terms. Our constant terms are eight and five, then you defeat that of y column, one and negative two. And this is equal to this time this, eight times negative two, minus five times one. This is equal to this time this is negative 16, minus five, because five times one is five. And the determinant with respect to x is now going to be negative 21. Mm -hmm. Then we find the determinant with respect to y, which is the same thing as you keep this constant, 2 and 3. Then you replace y column with our constants, which are 8 and 5. The determinant is going to be this time this, 2 times 5, minus 3 times 8. This time this is 10, so we, we have 10 minus. This time this is 24. Hence, the determinant with respect to y is equal to negative 14. Having obtained these values, to find x, we say the determinant with respect to x divided by our main determinant. Our determinant with respect to x is negative 21, so we have negative 21. Divided by the main determinant is negative 7, so we have negative 7, and this is equal to positive 3. To find y is equal to the determinant with respect to y over the main determinant. This is equal to the determinant with respect to y we can see is uh, negative 14. Divided by the main determinant is negative seven. Hence, we can see that y is equal to positive two. For the graphical method, I'm not going to do that here because this is a plain board. It will not give us that accurate result. But to find out how to do that, uh, you can check on the description below or in the card above. So thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.